All right, guys, so we are live for another Market Update Monday. We go live every Monday at 2 p.m. My name is Lucy McGuire with Aero Title Services, and we go live every Monday to have local realtors along the Treasure Coast talk about the market, how things are going, um, share a current listing that they have, and just really update you guys on what's going on, because we in the real estate market know things are on fire. It is crazy busy right now, um, but a lot of people that we talk to like some people don't realize or they have no idea and they don't know kind of what to expect especially from the selling side of things so we talk about um just so you guys know who are watching live we break it into three different sections here first section is going to be these local realtors are going to share with you their perspective on the market how things are going um just the gist of it all especially because i was on vacation for a couple of weeks so we have a lot of catching up to do to see how the real estate market's been chugging along even without me <laughs> um and then the second portion each of these realtors are going to share a current listing that they have with you so that's always awesome to see some of the actual things that are on the market right now and hear about them and then the third section is going to be um any announcements open houses that they might co have coming up so it's always packed with information and you guys can always watch the replay on our youtube channel as well aero title services so without further ado let's get into it so we're gonna have joe start us off today joe's a very special guest and i'm happy to have him on our market update monday today so joe i know you've got a lot going on tell us how the market is right now well hey i want to start by saying thank you so much um you and michelle the title closer there at arrow have been just a phenomenal phenomenal part of my team and you've helped me grow and just having me on, I got to throw a big thank you out there before we even oh, start. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and by the way, Lucy, you've grown into a great friend and everybody that I meet with knows who you are and they love you. They think you're crushing it. So it's things oh. like this that you're consistently doing. So I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Of course, I appreciate <laughs> you. Uh, the market, the market. Let me tell you how the market's going with one story. Uh, I had a client and we've been talking for, I don't know, maybe six, nine months. And he was kind of feeling things out, feeling things out. He just, just called me maybe two weeks ago and said, all right, I'm ready. Let's do it. In the market. The market. So we, uh, we got out, we started looking at homes and, and I was educating him on, this is kind of where prices are. This is price per square foot. I want you to get used to that. This is what you can expect with new construction. This is pre-existing. Okay, cool. We got it. So we went out, we looked at a place and uh, we looked at three homes in one day. Now this guy, not very picky, like easy buyer, right? We look at three houses. Cool. I like the third one. Let's put an offer in. Okay. Easy. So we put an offer in 10 grand over. He loved it. There were 11 deals. Three were cash deals. Ours was not a cash deal and we did not get that house. So that tells you that one. All right. So there's, there's failure number one. Oh. So then we move on to the next one. The next one is a beautiful house. Love the house, love everything about it. Um, but it was a little bit more expensive. It was closer to what they were approved for. So they couldn't come 10 over. They came over as much as they could, which was seven grand over. Uh, didn't get it. There were three offers on that one. It was on for one day. Didn't get it. Somebody else came in higher. Third one, I was on, like within an hour of that sucker hitting the market. I said, get in your doggone car. We're going over there right now. We got over there, put in an offer instantly. It was full price, got it accepted. Guys, here's something you should be looking out for, especially if you have kids. They found out there were two sexual predators on that street. So they wanted to pull the deal. We finally got one. And now we've got oh. sexual deviants out running around. So they pull the <laughs> offer. Dude, I don't blame them, man. They got the cutest yeah. little like three, four year old girl. I've got little girls. Dude. Let's pull that offer, man. That's crazy. I wouldn't want to live there either. So we pulled the offer, right? Um, kind of bummed because they finally found a place. They came in, they got it excited. And then, you know, we've got craziness going on in the street. So we pull it. So then we go out again, look at a house. It was literally on for three hours. Got them instantly over there. Looked at it, put in a full price offer and they took it. So it took us four times of coming in 10 grand, seven grand over, uh, full price, but then we've got something going on. And then finally on another full price, we get it done after four. So if you want to know how the market's going, that's how the market's growing. It is a seller's market unquestionably. And I'll tell you, I'm in a lot of real estate groups around the U.S. There are very few pockets around the U.S. that are not feeling exactly what we're feeling. It's the same thing everywhere, uh, which leads into the natural question of why. 
And I think that's, you know, we've got low interest rates. When COVID first hit, roughly 30% of sellers pulled off the market. So you've got a lot less choices, but you've got really similar amounts of buyers. Um, we do have a lot of job loss. People are like, I don't get it. There's a lot of job loss. True, but a lot, not all, but a lot of the job loss, a high percentage of the job loss is people in the service industry, people in the motel industry, right? So a lot of those people weren't really home buyers anyway, at least percentage wise, right? So a lot of that impact was on people who weren't really in the market anyway to buy houses. Um, so it really didn't hit what I'm seeing as buyers. We're also getting a load of people who are coming down from New York and New Jersey. Those states are a little more, rest- well, by a little, I mean a lot more restrictive than Florida. So they're thinking, I'm getting a lot of small business owners and they're thinking, I can't run my business. I'm going to go to business. I either have to move or I got to shut down. And am I even going to be able to get a job up here? So they don't want to risk it. They all come down here. They're coming down at the pace of a, uh, a thousand a day is what we're getting here in Florida. And Port St. Lucie's attractive. It's affordable. You can be right near the beach and it costs you 200, 300 grand. And I might think the taxes are high. You might think the taxes are high, but if you're coming from New York where it's three, four times higher, this place is easy. It's easy, man. So we're seeing all kinds of people, West Palm, Miami, they're coming up here in droves because they can get the same amount of house for half the price or double the house for the same price. It's, it's crazy. So that, that's what I'm seeing right now. Absolutely. And you brought up so many great points. That was very well put together right there. I mean, there's, and those are just some of the reasons as to why our market is so crazy right now, because the life lifestyles all around the U.S. have changed now with a lot of businesses going to remote jobs now. People aren't forced to live in the big cities anymore. Like they don't need to because they can work remotely. So a lot of people are questioning, why am I living in the big city? Why am I living around all these people where, you know, COVID's still a thing or whatever. So they're really questioning their their lives. And you, you brought up a lot of great points. So thanks for sharing, Joe. Absolutely. All right, Andrea, what do you have to say? I know that's quite a thing to follow, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, Joe did touch on a lot of uh, great points that's going on in our market right now. Joe, thank you. Uh, you, you, I can't feel your shoes. You definitely covered everything, but uh, definitely first and foremost, Lucy, thank you so much for having me on. Um, it was a pleasure to meet you yesterday. We had an awesome time at our uh, open house. Um, that's what I'm going to touch on today as well. But Joe, definitely it is a seller's market right now. And uh, the offers, you know, are coming in 10 to one and it's tough, you know, it's definitely tough. Like Joe mentioned, you can come in at way above asking price and still may not even get your offer accepted. You know, that's just how, how it's going right now. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> no school today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Real for life. Yes, yes. Um, but in terms of the home that we had an open house for yesterday, beautiful, beautiful gym here in tradition area. Um, the asking price was 525, 525,000, but I will definitely love to show you guys um, this gem. It, it was beautiful to say the least. Um, it had a special hidden mother suite, I would say mother-in-law suite in the back of the home and it was just gorgeous. And uh, as far as the market goes itself, I'm surprised it's still on the market. In two days it's been on the market, but it will not last long. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And there's so much, there's, there's very minimal, um, or very minimal inventory out there too. So all the sellers, I mean, there are so many people that are trying to hold on to their properties right now. And it's, it's because they're realizing that they are in paradise, right? Like they might not be willing to sell as easily now, or a lot of people when COVID first started, they were unsure what the, what was going to happen with the market in general. So they were holding on to their assets like, "Mm, nope, I don't, I'm not, not letting go of this yet. But slowly, you know, I feel, I don't know how things are. Do you guys have any predictions of what 2021 is going to bring us? It's okay. Nobody's going to hold you to it. But if, if you have any, you know, predictions of what you think the beginning of 2021 or just in general, like, do you guys have any idea? Um, I would say inventory will definitely be low, um, you know, to, to the point where buyers are going to be scarce uh, in, in terms of finding a home. Um, and it's, if, if there are many homes left, it's going to be slim to, to none. Um, even new construction from what I'm seeing, their inventory is, is going very fast. 
Yeah, that's a good point too. And interest rates are really good right now. You know, everyone's jumping on it. Any anything from you, Joe? Any yeah, I mean, realtors are eternal optimists, and I love being optimistic. Uh, I, I do think you're going to have two competing things going on. I think number one, we've had low rates for so long. When I got in, it was 2004. And I think rates had just dropped below 7% for the first time. And I remember I was like, oh my God, rates are so low. And they're like, you're crazy. It used to be 14%. That was Betty Lou Bird. She was like 80 years old telling me how she used to carry around the book with the rates and all the listings. And she's like, Joe, you're spoiled with these 7% rates. And now they're in the threes. Some people are getting them in the twos. It's crazy. So as long as the rates are low, you're always going to have at worst a balanced market. I, I don't see a buyer's market coming anytime in 2021. Um, the one big negative that I don't think anybody really knows. I don't know if this is this big of a deal or if it's this big of a deal, but right now we've got a moratorium on evictions and, and foreclosures, right? So all those people who are not making their payments, which again, I've got to guess uh, that there's a lot more of the evictions that are being held off on than the uh, foreclosures, just because of looking at who, who lost their jobs. But I don't know that. Uh, and, you know, you don't know how accurate the numbers you're reading are, because those numbers are, you know, that's a snapshot of a lot of different things. And a lot of people, even at the highest levels, don't know what's going on right now. But I think it'll be interesting if and when that moratorium ends at the end of the year, looking and seeing how many people when the tides go out are truly behind on their mortgage payments, are truly behind on their rental payments, and they get evicted. That's going to impact the markets, whether again, it's this much or it's a whole lot, not sure. Um, but even if that happens, cool. We got a small boost in the market. Um, I can tell you from going through 2008, 2009, those homes don't necessarily impact pre-existing uh, home sales as much as you would think. A lot of times they're not as comparable as you would think. A lot of people see them, they're not well maintained. I remember they would strip the copper out of them because they'd try to make a couple hundred bucks before they left. They would demolish them because they would blame the bank instead of taking personal responsibility, which, listen, I'm a big responsibility guy, but I would get into these listing appointments. They'd be like, listen, it's the bank's fault. So I'm gonna destroy this place. I'm like, dude, that makes no sense, but whatever. So you see these homes and they are not in good condition. So you're gonna get investors coming out of the woodwork. But then you've got, you know, are, are banks as ready as they were in 2009? Because in 2007 and eight, when it started, they weren't ready. So when you would submit an offer, the bank was lost. They did not have a system. They did not have a department. They did not have experts. They did not know, is your price even correct? Is it good? I don't know. What kind of system are we running? They, they didn't have BPOs at that time where that BPO is a broker's price opinion. They were paying 60 bucks to three different agents and they would go out and do a quick and easy BPO costing them 180 instead of paying three, four, 500 for an appraisal, right? So they're trying to save some money. So you had agents who literally would go out and do multiple BPOs every day and make 120, 180 a day, right? That was their whole job. We don't know how much of that is gonna happen. We don't know how much of that is gonna actually be comparable to pre-existing. So if there's any negative, I hate to be negative, that's the only negative I see with the amount of inventory we've got, which is extremely low and the rates are extremely low and I don't see them going anywhere else. Even if we do have that issue, I foresee at worst, it would be a balanced market. Absolutely. No, that was great input. Um, and so there's a lot of information there to unpack, but I'll let you guys sit on that. So we'll have to see how, how things go. It was very interesting at the beginning when I first started this um, Market Update Monday. Came from COVID actually, so thanks COVID. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's been really great to get everybody's opinion about things and just how things were gonna happen. And at the beginning of COVID when nobody knew what was gonna happen with the market and all of the predictions that we talked about like ended up coming true. Like we said that there was going to be a, people who are gonna be pushed to start buying in fall and such like that because they weren't able or weren't as comfortable in the beginning so it's very, been very interesting to see how it's followed kind of the trend that we expected it to so it's just a question i like to ask to see 
we'll see in a few months how it actually yeah. plays out. Yeah. <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> but I do want to get into the, so we'll go into the next section here, which is each of these amazing realtors that are local on the Treasure Coast are going to share with you a current listing that they have. And you guys get to kind of hear about what we actually have in the market right now um, that's available <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> so we will um, talk about that and go into that section. And um, Joe, do you want to start us off with that with your, I know you were just talking, but, or sure. Andrea. Uh, no, let me skip it. Andrea, you go ahead. Awesome. Okay. Um, yes, I have the pleasure of having this beautiful listing in the estate that, uh, tradition. And it is a beautiful four bedroom, three bath home. I'm actually going to open this up for us here and share my screen. But uh, definitely, like I said, this will not be on the market long. Um, we did have some insight and input from different buyers uh, potentially putting in an offer. So we should see how that goes. I'm gonna share this with you here really quick. And the pictures do no justice actually. It's beautiful home. Let's see, I'll start from the beginning. This, it, it was very inviting, very open. Um, this is a beautiful gym again in the estate uh, tradition, which is a very up and coming area as well. Tradition is building up a lot. Um, we see that trend going with new construction as well. Um, but this is the, the open living room area. This particular home has different, different uniqueness to it, um, a separate dining area. But this conversation piece right here is just the entry to the home. Um, this home itself, let's see here. This is the open living room area. And I'm gonna go over to, this is the hidden gym, which was in the back of the home, the bathroom area. It actually has three bathrooms, which was great. Um, four bedrooms, three full bathrooms. This particular bathroom was towards the back of the home, which we called in the mother-in-law suite because it was a bedroom off to itself, away from everything. And then this private bathroom with the stand-up shower. So it was very nice. Actually walking into the home, you wouldn't know that this part of the home that actually existed, it was that big. A very nice inviting patio deck, has a nice open and inviting um, cover deck area, extended out, beautiful lake view. The great aspect of this home, it was definitely, you, you will see in most HOAs, you don't have enough land space. This is an HOA, however, the advantage of this home, it had a lot of land space, which is a plus. Um, extended backyard, you know, definitely enough space on either side of the home, which was beautiful. This is your Grandmaster Oasis. I call it the Oasis because your master suite is just where you go to have a crash at the end of the day. <laughs> that is where you go to exhale and just call it a day. But it has a very elongated hallway. His and hers closet are actually hers and her closet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, led, led you into the bathroom, double basin vanity. Um, nice garden tub, which was very, very nice with the standalone shower. Oh, that was the crew from yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was uh, who we had uh, with, our, with us at the open house. And Lucy was there as well to give her expertise on some title information to any buyers who came in and was probably ready to rock and roll. And then that was it. But the home address is 12158 Southwest. Adventino Drive in Port St. Lucie, 34987. Awesome. Thank you, Andrea. You're welcome. That was great. That honestly, that um, house was beautiful um, with the with the type of people that we have moving all over, a lot of, of the multi-generational homes are very um, popular nowadays. So that home definitely has that available for it and having that separate mother-in-law suite. And if you guys, pictures don't even do it justice because there was, we did a whole video yesterday, which is also on our page because I was there. <laughs> so you guys could check that out. Um, thank you, Andrea, for sharing. And Joe, go ahead and share with us what listing you have to share with us today. Yeah, before I start, Andrea, that backyard, wow, that is a beautiful backyard, man. It's going to be a backyard lover who buys that sucker. Um, so instead of talking about one individual listing, I'm going to talk about grand construction because we've got a lot of really cool things going on with them that is so unique if you're looking for new construction, right? Lumber just went up a lot. It did. 
So right now we've got some homes that are locked in on prices and they're still extremely low. The next wave of new construction that comes out in the next two, four, six months, you might see those prices change because of that. So what we've got existing right now is probably the best deal you're going to see on the market, period, for the next six months or so. Uh, we've got, and all of these are up in Torino, which in my opinion is the best non-HOA subdivision in Port St. Lucie. I love that area. We've got our monster award-winning model up there for 600 grand. It's got a beautiful $75,000 pool, $15,000 outdoor kitchen. The ceilings, it looks like you're walking into a Hilton lobby. It's gorgeous, but we also build some nice affordable homes, right? So we've got five specs up there. The problem we got, we're a big custom builder, is when you come in, you want to build custom, takes eight, nine months. That sucks, right? Then we've got the issue of you got to get a construction loan. You got to make interest only payments on some of that. That sucks. So in attempt to solve some of that suck, we built some specs. We built our most saleable spec, which is called the Grand Cayman 4-2. It's a four bed, two bath, two stall garage. It's got 1,859 square feet, which is about average for what people are looking for. It's 319.9, uh, and we've got five of them in Torino. Uh, I think all of them, or almost all of them, are on either a reserve lot, a canal, uh, a cul-de-sac, something that makes that lot a little bit more special than other lots. Uh, and they've all got grand construction on them, right? That those are grand construction homes. So they've all got that custom master bedroom, double coffered ceiling. They've got granite. They've got stainless steel appliances. They've got the soffits and the lids outside that are all stuccoed instead of that metal. We've got 20 foot wide driveways for all you truck and SUV drivers instead of the 16 foot driveways that almost every other builder does. And we've got a lot of other behind the scenes things that you guys will never even see. I've got three pages of font 11 things that we do that you don't even see when it comes to what we call standards and other builders called upgrades, right? So we've got those going on. That saves you on having to go out and get that new construction loan and wait in eight, nine months. We've got five of those options. If you're like, Joe, don't care. I want to build custom. Cool. We got five more lots all in Torino. All of them have something special about them. Just like I said, the cul-de-sac, the canal, something like that. Uh, and we can build literally anything you can dream up on them. Yes, we have floor plans, but yes, we can also build custom off of any of those. So if you want a seven bed, one bath that's shaped like a unicorn, dude, we can do it. We can do anything. Uh, it might be a little pricey because that's going to be a goofy floor plan, but we can definitely do that. And uh, we've got the lots too. A lot of builders are going to say, sure, we'll do it. Go find the lot, come back to me we actually have the lots in our inventory. So that's what I'm pitching this week, Lucy. That's great. No, and Grand Construction, if you guys haven't seen Grand Construction and oh, what thanks. they do, incredible. I was just telling the girls about it yesterday. I was like, y'all gotta go there. Gotta go to the, gotta go to the model. <laughs> go <Yep>. see Joe. <laughs> I appreciate it. Get it. Yeah, no, it's it's absolutely beautiful. So guys, um, and you know, since you mentioned Grand Construction, I'll make sure to tag them in um, the description of this video too, so that people can check out their page and all that they have to offer. Of course. So um, as we always have such great information that comes on here and um, each of these realtors are amazing. So make sure that you guys check out their pages. Their um, pages will be linked in the description of this video so you guys can check out what they've got going on. Um, I always appreciate the realtors who come on here and share with us and take time out of their day, their busy schedules, because again, the market's hot, um, to share with what they have um, on the market and just educate us on how things are going. So you guys came with some great information today. Do any of you have any announcements of any open houses coming up or anything that you guys want to briefly mention? I'm going to defer to Andrea, but I do want to say, Andrea, it was great to meet you. You as well, Joe. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, your presentation is just as lightning. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any um do you have any um announcements or open houses coming up, Andrea, that you wanna let people know about? Um currently I do not, but I am out in the market and um putting foot to the pavement. So definitely click in the link for my information. I would love to meet with any of your um representatives or clients. Awesome. And Joe, do you have anything coming up? You always got something coming up. Yeah, every Friday I'm out at the uh, Grand Construction Model. It's that big award-winning $600,000 home in Torino. It's at 6083 
Northwest East DeVille Circle. And uh, it's a stunner, man. Come check it out. We can talk about that house. We can talk about all those specs I just talked about. We can talk about customs. Or you can just drink all of our soda and BS with me. I don't care. Either way, I'm going to be there from 9 to 5 every Friday. Love it. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. If you guys are watching live right now um, and you missed the great conversation we just had for the last 30 minutes, make sure you guys watch the replay. You can always watch the replay on our YouTube channel, Arrow Title Services. We go live every Monday at 2 p.m. And if you're a realtor that happens to be watching, you guys can join this too. So make sure you guys reach out to me because we go live every Monday at 2 p.m. And we'd love to have you guys on and hear what is going on in your neck of the woods. <laughs> so hope you guys have an amazing rest of your Monday. Thank you. Thank you so much to the people who came out today. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Andrea. Really appreciate all of the amazing information that you shared with everyone today, um, making everyone on Facebook a little bit more knowledgeable about real estate. <laughs> Thanks. You guys have a rocking day. You yeah. too. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs>